Hello everyone, this video is going to be my one year review on the North Face Jester shoulder carry bag. I originally bought a different North Face bag. This is more like a uh, fanny pack slash shoulder carry bag. It's much larger. This one's camo also. This one I they believe is called the lumbar pack is what it's called. It's much bigger, but it was way more than what I needed. So I got the smaller one, but this one's cool. It's just a little bit too much for everyday use, but for the trails and having more stuff, it's perfect because look at how big and thick the strap is and how much adjustment, and it has a lot more space. This one here is a much tinier, more convenient package, but it could be just a little bit bigger. It's close to perfect, but not quite. A little bit of adjustment and this thing is really great so let's talk about the features real quick so it has several pockets so first it's the main compartment pocket here that has zippers that go both ways there's two zippers and then there's a divider pocket here on the inside but there's no other little divider pockets that's one thing that I wish that it had like for a pen or for a flashlight, a little divider thing. So it's easier to pull that out specifically instead of everything just going down to the bottom. So it does have a fair amount of storage space and I will show you all of what I usually have in here and I can put more or less stuff in it depending you know, on what I need. It does have a zippered pouch here in the back also, but it only zippers one way so it doesn't have a double zipper here now when you see what opens it doesn't open really wide down this way that's another thing I wish you could change is that it opened further down this way so when you opened it it had a wider opening to it so this is kind of narrow so it limits that's kind of good but kind of bad at the same time so if somebody wanted to like try and rob you and stick your hand in there it's not a lot of space like even when you have it opened all the way zipped to the both sides you see when I put my hand in there I'll move it all the way to the one side so it's got a couple inches of space but you know it wouldn't be so easy so the stuff when I have everything in there it's nice and snug so it doesn't move around that's what uh, I didn't like about this one is it's so big that everything is just gonna move around unless you have a ton of stuff in here but you know if you're out hiking, this is what I would use because I can put sunscreen in here. I can put, you know, water filtration tablets. I can put knives. I can put, you know, first aid kit stuff. I can put a ton of stuff in this. I don't want to put all that in my daily carry bag, but for what it is, it's pretty great. And this little uh, webbing here, it, it is useful, but at, at the same time, uh, I'd rather have some molly or something else that's a little more bit useful and maybe uh, like a little flashlight thing here on the outside that would be key to have here on the outside easy access you know whichever side because I usually carry it on the right side anyway so if it was on this side it'd be perfect to have quick access to the flashlight so but overall I really like it um, now I do have the strap all the way uh, extended that's one of the negatives about this is the strap could be longer and I'm not a big person so I'm only 5'9", 160 so somebody that's say like 6'3", 250 if you have the strap all the way extended it's going to look ridiculous it's still going to be so tight on you so size wise um, definitely need a bigger strap more adjustment there this one as you can see is massive so you know you can fit any size human here for smaller people definitely because the size limits on the, when you see on me then you would see that definitely if you were much bigger then it would look kind of ridiculous so now I'll grab all the stuff that I usually have in it and uh, show you what I like and dislike about it
Here's everything I typically will carry in my shoulder carry bag, no matter what day it is, no matter what I'm doing. I can have more stuff than this or less, depending on where I'm going or what I'm doing, but this is typically what will always be in there. So I have my wallet, which I usually will carry in this unless I'm wearing pants, which isn't very often because it's too hot for that right now. I have the waterproof paper with the uh, Spencer or Fisher space pen, excuse me. So it's a brass pen. These are really awesome. This is a flashlight, just a simple flashlight, streamlight. This is a simple knife. This is an opener. This is Swedish steel, but the knives themselves are French made. It has this little challenge lock. These are cheap, but you sharpen this blade. It's a thin blade, it'll cut really well. And it uh, has the ability to be used with a ferrule rod. So it's pretty useful because I do have the ferrule rod in the car. Chapstick. Real silver coin. This is a 19, what, 23, 1921. So this is a real silver dollar. Matches because the lighter is bigger and heavier. And I think the nostalgia of the matchbook is kind of cool. I also will carry a thing of sunscreen in here too, a little tube of it. But uh, I have a bigger one in the car. So I haven't been doing that as much. Also can use like a compass in here. So like when you want to go you know, adventuring outdoors, you can fit a compass in this also. First aid kit stuff, no problem. You can put band-aids and stuff in here. So whatever you want to put in there, um, it's up to you, but this is just typically what I will carry. So it will fit uh, up to a 3.5 inch pistol for EDC concealed carry style uh, pistols. The CZ75 that I have, it's like a 3.75 inch. That's a little bit too big. When I put it in here, it's to like the very top and like you have to like push down as you're trying to zipper it. So it's just a little bit too big, but three and a half or smaller will fit in there just fine. SIG P365, 365 XL, Glock 43, this is the 43X. So with the spare magazine, I can get this and even more stuff in it. It's just how you want to distribute it in there. And it's not easy to get to, again, because there's only one little divider thing and then everything goes to the bottom. But you can get it all in there. So as long as you're not too picky about the access to it, like obviously uh, getting the access to some of the stuff isn't as easy. But... At the same time, it's a convenient way to carry everything, especially in the summertime when it's hot outside and you're wearing shorts and they don't have pockets or they're limited pockets. And also, I like the way that it distributes the weight better. Another thing is, is I wish the material was breathable. Um, sweating with it on today, especially because it was like 90 degrees and you could see I had like a sweat band across me where I was carrying it. But it was nice because I have my stuff that I need. I have my sunscreen in there. I got my water bottle. I'm carrying it with me. I can attach it onto this without having to like do anything special. I can get like a carabiner thing and use that. So it does have a lot of different uses and I have gotten a lot of use over it um, the last year. And I continue to look for more of these that are just slightly bigger than this. Maybe a little bit different shape, a little bit more oblong. So we'll see what they come out with. I know that the market has copycats. This is just a little bit too much, but I really like this shoulder carry bag and I've gotten a lot of use out of it and I'm gonna continue to use it. So if you like these type of things to put your kit in, I think they're great. It also, no printing whatsoever, right? So, and it, it eliminates the use of a holster because it fits in there nice and snug. That's another thing that I like. And also, if you want, you can put the pocket holster in there and then put it in there. I just, it's a Glock. It's, you know, Glock safe. I don't need to. It's in there. It's no way it's just going to go off on its own. But if you wanted to, you can put one of those pocket holsters that's, you know, meant to go like in your pants pockets or something and then stick it in there. I've done that as well, too. So highly utilitarian and uh, they weren't that expensive it just could be improved a little bit 
Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more like gear reviews.